America depends on the men and women of the United States Navy to respond to emergencies and national security threats at a moment's notice. This readiness can only come from the realistic training and testing that includes the live munitions and active sonar used during real-world operations. That's where they hone their skills so that they can be an effective combat force. This training is critical for developing proficiency, coordination, and the confidence necessary for success. In a combat environment, you have to rely on the procedures, the muscle memory that you've learned in, in training so that we can execute under pressure. Classroom training and simulations are a critical component in preparing sailors to protect our nation. But it's at sea where training and testing ensures the effectiveness and reliability of active sonar and live munitions, as well as those trained to use them. Being underway, taking 15 to 20 foot seas, you need to be able to do your job the exact same way. You do have to actually go live in the environment. Whether it's firing small arms or destroying submerged enemy mines, realistic training builds military readiness. For example, Explosive ordnance teams must be able to practice handling live explosive charges safely in a high-stress environment where conditions are constantly changing. Diving on underwater mines, bottom mines in particular, uh, takes a high level of competence. Training with live munitions provides the opportunity for sailors to practice the critical tasks essential to survive and complete their missions successfully. You know, if you can operate out here, you can operate anywhere. If the Navy can't train and test with active sonar and live munitions, our sailors will not be able to develop and maintain the skills needed to detect, track, and counter submarines, underwater mines, and other threats at sea. The use of active sonar is just one example of how realistic training could save a ship or even an entire fleet at sea. Modern submarines are extremely quiet and very capable of platforms. Sonar is the only way that we have to track them and prosecute them. They are next to impossible to find, so active sonar is the key to try to punch through and find them. Effective use of active sonar gives a ship everything it needs to pinpoint the location of hard-to-detect enemy submarines and neutralize the threat. It'll give us their bearing, their course, and their range. It could be the one thing that could uh, be the game changer in the end. Countries around the world, including Russia and China, are expanding their military presence and capabilities especially their submarine forces, and are operating closer to U.S. waters. They're building new submarines that are quieter and harder to find. In order to counter this growing threat and protect the nation's security, the U.S. Navy is increasing the emphasis on anti-submarine warfare. This requires realistic and continual training in a wide variety of environments and geographic areas. We're not ready to perform anti-submarine warfare operations. We're gonna have a very bad surprise one day. The most realistic training is at sea with the gear energized. It is that realism, that ability to train like they fight, that keeps our sailors ready at all times for all tasking and all missions.